Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with some more Manchester United related transfer news. Just getting increasingly, increasingly scarce um, as of late. Um, so basically, we're going to just talk a bit about uh, Nicolas Pepe of Lille, um, as well as the Harry Maguire update. So first and foremost, we'll talk about uh, Nicolas Pepe of Lille. So basically, um, this is coming from his agent. Nicolas Pepe um, is basically um, has just come back from the African Cup of Nations after Ivory Coast were knocked out um, in the quarterfinals. Um, and basically, his agent has basically said that Nicolas Pepe is open to everything. Um, you know, certainly open to a move to the Premier League. Um, it's interesting, no one has officially bid for Nicolas Pepe yet. Um, which is surprising because um, I thought that certainly one of the Champions League um, uh, sides were in for him. Um, but now it's been rumoured that actually Everton are interested. And Everton aren't a Champions League winner. And we certainly finished above Everton. Um, so I don't really understand why Manchester United um, wouldn't be one of the teams that would be in for Nicolas Pepe. If Everton's certainly interested and Nicolas Pepe is open to everything, especially moving to the Premier League, and United certainly need to get on top of this deal. Um, Pepe, you know, he's netted about 22 goals and about 11 assists in League One. I know it's League One. Um but he was still on the standout perform performance of the season. Um, Leo apparently value him at about 58 million or so. Um, and obviously, if Everton or the like start bidding, then there's a potential for a bidding war. Um, but to be honest, for the money that United have, there's no reason why United can't get this deal for Nick's Pepper. We do need a player of his quality, especially um, up top. Um, he is a ringer, I think right-sided, um, and I just think that at only 24, he's certainly one of the players that, like, he's got a bit a bit more experience, um, but he can certainly make an impact um, at Manchester United. Um, and, you know, the fact that it seems, anyway, that Champions League football is not a complete, um, you know, because my big thing with Nicolas Pepper was that Leo qualified for Champions League, you know, um, he wants to go to a Champions League side, but the impression I'm getting anyway is that he, that's not a big, um, that's not a big thing, um, especially if um, if likes Everton uh, or what have you in for him, and PSG uh, PSG are kind of waiting. I mean, depending on whether PSG sell Neymar, I assume maybe. Um, Maybe they might then decide, okay, we may need to get someone like Nicolas Pepe. But if he stays, I I'd, I'd don't know whether they'll, they'll want to be spending that amount of money. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think, um, United fans? Do you, do you want Nicolas Pepe at Manchester United? Um, do you think it'd be a good signing? Um, do you think that we need him? Um, maybe you think there are other areas that need reinforcement. Um, but uh, but as, as far as I'm I think Nicolas uh, Pepe is a, is, a, is a really good player. Um, and the fact that there's been no major bids that have been that have gone for him, especially from Champions League winning si Champions League featuring side, sorry, um, I think that gives Manchester United a very, very, very good chance um, of actually um, potentially signing this this, this guy. Um, the only thing that's really stopping us is our penny pinchingness um, and also our inability to make multiple deals at the same time, which seems to be costing us this window as we get closer and closer to August. Right, um, so the next bit of news is basically the man uh, on your right, um, it's Harry Maguire. Um, so there's been just a small update really of Harry Maguire basically. Obviously, um, um, United, um, I think, tabled basically, or rooms are tabled, a 70 million bid for Harry Maguire, which was rejected by Leicester City. They're wanting to hold out for something more than 85 million according to reports. Um, and basically, how what happened, guys? And Harry Maguire is essentially thrown his toy out, toys out the pram, and demanded. You know, um, it's according to to reports um, that Leicester City essentially drop um, his um, the, the, the valuation of him. You know, so uh, that they that that they he's he's a bit frustrated, and angry that he is is prized out of a money move. Um, and has made that clear on his pre-season tour, um, according to, I think, a score to Sky Sports. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's not, you know, 
we're still we you could argue we still are in films negotiating but um united are reluctant um, to to sign harry Maguire for i guess anything more than 70 million and i can completely understand why you know when there are arguably um better center backs out there cough you know kudabali you know that may cost 95 to 100 million spending 85 million on harry Maguire. I just don't think it makes sense. Um, and you could even get potentially cheaper centre-backs in your, you know, uh, Milinkovic, Ruben Diaz, um, and what have you, um, for less. There are certainly cheaper centre-back options out there. And then when you consider, obviously, as, you, as I mentioned yesterday, the likes of Axel Twan CB, who looks like he could potentially come and looks quite good, um, although it was only against Perth Glory. Um I don't know. I don't think United, unless for me, unless United are going to sign a potential world class, potential world class or world class centre back, they they shouldn't be spending any uh, eighty five million. They shouldn't, you know, seventy million. Harry Maguire for me is the maximum. You know, eighty five million um, is just is just taking the mick now. Um, so I I think United are right in and digging in their heels um, and. Um, you know, maybe if Harry Maguire throwing the temperature temper transfer, maybe he can um, he can force him to move, hand the transfer request, whatever. Maybe that will help. Um, but you know, Leicester at the end of the day and under no obligation to sell um, Harry Maguire, um, and I don't think United are under any obligation um, to pay that ridiculous fee. Um, if I'm honest. But uh, let me know what you think. Do you guys think that Harry Maguire is worth? I'll put a poll, maybe a Twitter poll. Um, follow us on Twitter at We United X. Um, you know, do you think that Harry Maguire is worth um, 85 million? You know, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. You know, maybe he is, um, maybe he's not. Um, but you know, I don't think, I certainly don't think that United should be should be um, bullied. Um, so that's basically it, guys. I said there's not a lot of news, not a lot of transfer news, to be honest. Um, this evening, fingers crossed, we're going to be having a different segment. Um, there'll be a live stream where we're getting a couple of um, fans to basically come and um, share the expectations and what they feel, um, what they feel will be um, essentially what the expectation of the afternoon for the individual teams, which should totally be getting a Liverpool fan, Arsenal fan, a Chelsea fan, possibly a Sunderland fan, and obviously myself as a Manchester United fan, where we'll discuss our thoughts. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully that should be around 7 o'clock or so. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. Follow us again at We're United X. That's on Twitter um, and on Facebook. And we also have a Twitch account and an Instagram, Red Devil Studio. Have a nice day, guys. And cheers.